I am now questioning why I like all of these books so much. I've succeeded in convincing myself that my own taste sucks. What is more festive than a Christmas roast? Everyone is always mad at me for my bad takes and they're all upset that I don't like their favorite books and they don't like me ranting and insulting their favorite books. So my gift to you this Christmas is insulting my favorite books because what is more festive than a Christmas roast? So today we're gonna be chatting about some of my favorite books and I'm gonna be ripping them to shreds. <laughs> I have to say, um, doing this video has made me question why I like these books. <laughs> I've succeeded in convincing myself that my own taste sucks. So first up, The King Killer Chronicle by Patrick Rothfuss. This series is about a ginger twerp whose best days are behind him. Like any former cool guy or jock from school, his life didn't really turn out the way he planned, so he's super depressed and mopey and working as a bartender. Uh, don't try talking to him unless you want to spend the next three days listening to him recount his glory days. Apparently he used to be the shit way back when, wouldn't you know? You better believe he was the smartest and the funniest and all the ladies loved him. So Quoth would have you believe that he is this absolute prodigy. And this genius, who's famous for his red hair, has living incognito under the super different name of Coat, while this like very sus magical dude um, is hanging around him all the time. He's got a famous sword on display, ginger hair, fully visible, very undercover. But okay, so maybe he does hook you and maybe you feel like you actually kind of do want to see. Okay, so like how did this apparently amazing guy end up bartending in some backwater town? Like you do kind of want to know how that happened. Well, joke's on you. The series is never going to be finished. The whole thing is just a massive prank on the part of the author. So if when reading a book you've ever thought to yourself, man, I wish the main character of this book was more of a twat. I wish I could hear the cool guy from my high school recount his glory days in excruciating detail. I wish my book series never wrapped up so the mysteries could remain intact forever. Well then King Killer is the series for you. Next up is the First Law Trilogy. Does it contain a page turning gripping mystery? No. Are the characters wonderful people that you just really want to spend time with? No. Is there some deep lore to unpack with cool Easter eggs and mysteries to unpack about this world and the history and magic behind it all? No. Is there a really interesting and inventive magic system with a lot of intricacies to it to learn and unpack? No. Does each book have a semi self-contained arc so that you feel like you get a payoff on each installment? Again, no. Are there cool names for uh, the people and the places and the things in this world for you to learn? Well, it's set in a place called Angland, spelled with an A, not an E. So, um... Basically, if as a reader you've ever thought to yourself, I wish this book had less plot. I wish every character in this book was horrible. I wish there was less point to the things that I'm reading about. Well then First Law is the series for you. Next up is American Gods. So if you heard this book was about how every immigrant that came to the United States brought their gods with them and those gods now walk among us, and you thought, how epic, how cool. Think again. If you thought a book about gods would be a book about ancient, powerful, magical beings doing epic things, well then your name is not Neil Gaiman. The gods in this book are shop owners and con men and morticians and every other mundane and mildly unpleasant occupation that you can think of. Is there adventure? Well, if you think driving around the middle of America in a crappy old car with a grumpy old boss is adventure, then yes. Is there a lot of myth and mysticism? Well, if you think reading about poor, desperate immigrants coming to America and clinging to their gods in the hope of surviving is um, mythical and mystical, then yes. Is the main character a compelling and purpose-driven hero that you can really root for? Well, if you think an ex-con who doesn't really care what he's doing and would prefer not to know much about it is heroic, then yes. Is it an epic and sweeping portrait of how amazing America is? Well, if you... No. Basically, if you as a reader ever found yourself thinking, I wish pagan gods were less mythical, less mystical. I wish I could live vicariously through an aimless ex-con with nothing to live for. I wish my books were longer and more meandering with no apparent point or plot. Well then American Gods is the book for you. Next up, 
Six of Crows. So you read Lies of Locke Lamora and you heard that Six of Crows has a pretty good read-alike for it. But what no one told you is that it's Lies of Locke Lamora if Lies of Locke Lamora was about angsty teens who need parents almost as much as they need therapy. Did you ever watch Peaky Blinders and think to yourself, Man, this would be so much better if Tommy Shelby was a teenager. Yeah, me neither. Did you ever watch Ocean's Eleven and think to yourself, man, this would be so much better if the whole crew was in love with each other but was too emotionally stunted to say anything about it? Yeah, no one did. Did you ever look at the Joker and think to yourself, man, I wish gang leaders in magical Amsterdam dressed like that. Okay, maybe that one, yeah. Basically, if you were reading and you found yourself thinking, I wish more teenagers did crime. I wish the characters in my books were driven by less virtuous motives. Greed would be ideal. I wish the love interests in my books were less communicative and ripped more eyeballs out. Well, then Six of Crows is the duology for you. Next up is Red Rising. So you read Hunger Games and you thought to yourself, you know what's missing? Posh, privileged frat boys. If you love sci-fi because of all the space travel and the futuristic technology, then your name is not Pierce Brown. Welcome to the future where we live on Mars, but we act like we live in ancient Rome. Future tech? How about spears? Space battles? Try skirmishes in the mud. Enlightened thinking? More like dueling to the death over your honor. Leaders chosen for their brilliance? Nah, biggest bully on the playground gets to be president. Basically, if you're over reading and you found yourself thinking, I wish sci-fi was more like historical fiction. I really hope that our society reverts to Roman ideals in the future. Wouldn't it be awesome if our leaders were chosen for being violent psychos that managed to survive a battle royale? Well then Red Rising is for you. And lastly, I have the Sun Eater series. So everything that I said about Kingkiller, just replace Quoth with Hadrian and insert here. Did you ever read The Forever War and think, man, I wish this was 10 times longer? Did you ever read Red Rising and think, man, I wish this was more like Kingkiller Chronicle? Did you ever read Kingkiller Chronicle and think, I wish Quoth was more dramatic? Did you ever watch Star Wars and think, man, why are they all acting like Anakin is the villain when he's clearly in the right? Yeah, no one did. Basically, if as a reader you've ever found yourself thinking, I wish Anakin had a chance to tell his side of the story. I wish sci-fi characters referenced classic literature more. I wish sci-fi had more massively jarring time skips that made the beginning of each book as disorienting as possible. Then Sun Eater is the series for you. Hope you enjoyed my very merry Christmas roast. Again, I am now questioning why I like all of these books so much. <laughs> Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you love these books, if you hate these books, if you previously loved them and I've now convinced you that they suck. Whoops. <laughs> Whatever you want, let me know. I post videos on Saturdays, other random times as well, but only Saturdays, so like and subscribe, join my Patreon if you feel so inclined. Have a happy holiday, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.